Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today in front of you is the new all blue dial Crafter Blue Hyperion Ocean. And it's a pretty nice watch. I'm pretty surprised. Uh, for the price, which is well under a thousand US dollars, you're getting a Swiss made automatic 600 meter dive watch with, you know, a really nice set of dimensions and really, really high quality just as their straps are. Now, if you don't know Crafter Blue, as you can see, they originally started making these vulcanized rubber and fitted straps for Seiko watches, now actually for Tudor watches as well, and I've owned a couple of them. They're really good quality. They're genuine, real, natural, vulcanized rubber, and this company puts out some pretty nice products, so I figured uh, why not get one of these watches on the channel, and they used to be under the company Undive, if you did not know that, but now it's just Crafter Blue and Crafter Blue watches. So you have Crafter Blue watches and Crafter Blue straps. The owner, Steve, in Hong Kong is a very nice guy and he puts out some really nice products. So let's take a closer look at this watch. First, let me show you the packaging it actually came in. The Crafter Blue Hyperion did come in this nice little kind of sunglasses case, I would call it. Uh, very simple, but it's actually very hard on the outside, so you can definitely use it to uh, take on a plane or something. And inside you get your Crafter Blue International Warranty, and the watch sits right in here. Very simple packaging, but it gets the job done. Now the Crafter Blue Hyperion features a nice sunburst blue dial, although there is a couple, I should say there are, there are a couple other dial variations, which is pretty, uh, which are pretty nice, I, I would say. If you want to take a look, I did drop a link to their website in the description below so you can check them out after this video. Anyway, so what do we have here? We basically have kind of a mashup between, you know, different styles of watches. Definitely a true diver's watch at 600 meters with an automatic helium escape valve or an integrated helium escape valve on the left flank of the watch. You kind of get that Panerai style in the actual 120 click unidirectional rotating bezel. And the case kind of, it's a little bit like a Seiko-ish case, but not really. I mean, we have the crown at the four o'clock position. It doesn't like one-to-one -one a Seiko case, um, but it's kind of similar in a way, I would say. Something like a older Seiko turtle or something like that. Uh, but I wouldn't really call this a true homage watch, uh, if that's what you want to hear. Anyway, this watch, in terms of dimensions, it's 45 millimeters in diameter. In terms of case thickness, we're looking at 16, about 16 millimeters, uh, which is not too bad for a 600 meter dive watch. Uh, in terms of lug to lug, we're looking at 50 millimeters. So for a 45 millimeter diameter, 50 millimeters is not really that big. And as you can see, these lugs curve inwards, so it really doesn't wear that, that big. It's a Bigger watch, but it's not like extremely Invicta big, if you know what I'm talking about. It's definitely wearable, even for my 6.5 inch wrist. Now the actual, we'll start with the bezel and the case here. So the actual bezel is 120 clicks with a loomed pip here. And the action, as you can see here, is very precise with zero back play. Um, they do have some really good bezel action on these watches, as you can see here, and everything does line up to the 12 o'clock position just perfect. Now the actual case itself is definitely finished very nicely. We have highly polished tops, brushed sides. We have that Trident logo on the crown, which is very nice and pronounced. I think that looks pretty neat there. The crown is screwed down, of course. Um, but with their watches, their finishing is very good. Their finishing is really good. I must admit that. It definitely, you know, feels more like Something like the finishing you would see on like a watch from Hamilton or something of that nature. Automatic helium escape valve right here for your 600 meters in case you really want to go that deep. We get a domed sapphire crystal as well, um, which is very legible at all different angles and very nice there. Um, going over to the actual dial itself, I'm going to get you in really close here. As you can see, it is marked Swiss made. So you do get that Swiss made satisfaction, uh, which some of you guys really crave for. The dial is a sunburst blue with nice applied loomed BGW9 markers, which glows blue. We have a nice set of loomed hands, a sweeping seconds hand, as you can see going around the watch is already running. Crafter blue printed below six, uh, professional 600 meters printed above the six o'clock position. We get a nice date window in black at the three o'clock position framed in white, uh, which looks the part, matches the markers. So I think that's pretty nice there. And I do like how the second hand, you can see it right now, uh, reaches almost to the end of the dial, which is a little thing that I really do appreciate. Now this watch is running the Salida SW200, a Swiss made automatic movement, uh, which most of you guys are pretty familiar with. We get hacking, hand winding. 
Uh, we get about a 38 hour power reserve. It beats at four hertz or 28,800 vibrations per hour. Basically the equivalent of an ETA 24. You can see that nice uh, clean sweep of the seconds hand right there, uh, which is very nice. Taking also a closer look at the side of the bezel, if I did not mention, the grip is very good on the sides of this coin edge bezel, no issues there. The crown itself also is very easy to grip if I get you in closer. You can really see it really has a lot of room to grab onto, and it also does have integrated crown guards, uh, which is a nice feature. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this crown. You get a nice pop. There is no wiggle to the crown. We get self-winding in the first position. We get a quick set date in the second position. And then we get hacking in your final position and you can set the time here. So no issues there with setting the um, crown or unscrewing the crown. Everything functions as it should with ease. Now taking a closer look at the case back, as you can see, it's kind of like a semi-open case back. Um, there is a sapphire crystal there over the magnetic piece of steel there, I believe, that's placed over the movement. So you do have anti-magnetic properties in this movement, which is very nice. It does state anti-magnetic, Swiss made, 600 meters. And you do get a little kanji here, uh, right below Crafter Blue. Um, so yeah, this watch, you know, has roots in Hong Kong, obviously. Um, but it does qualify to be Swiss made, as it is marked Swiss made. Case back is screwed down. I think it looks pretty cool. You have the Crafter Blue logo there. As you can see, there's a lot of room in between to uh, take the strap off this watch in case you wanted to change the strap. Now getting to the actual strap itself, so it's a Crafter Blue strap. You already know it's going to be very good quality. It's very flexible and probably some of the, probably the most comfortable aftermarket straps you can buy for a Seiko. They're vulcanized genuine rubber. You get a nice brushed uh, uh, stainless steel buckle. Uh, two keepers here, one's floating, one's stationary. And of course, this is fitted perfectly to the case. They're custom made for each watch. Uh, Crafter Blue signature here. As you can see, it is pretty long. Um, if you have a big wrist, you should have no issue up to 8 inches. You have the Crafter Blue logo here. Very flexible. Straight out of the box, you're ready to wear this watch. Now, getting to the actual loom. Uh, let's get a loom shot in right now. Here is a nice loom shot. As you can see, everything is lit up with a nice blue hue. Um, but there is a, I believe there's two color types of loom on the sweeping seconds hand, if you didn't notice that. Or maybe that's just how my camera is picking it up. Um, but yeah, the loom is very bright. The pip as well is pretty bright and bold if you see at the 12 o'clock position. So if it's dark out, you should have no issue, you know, setting your dive bezel here. As you can see, you can see that thing going around right now, uh, which looks pretty cool. So yeah, the loom, uh, very good. As you can see, it's a little bit more potent on the hands, but not by much, I would say. Everything's pretty equal there. Here's the watch on my 6.5 inch wrist. 45 millimeters, 50 lug to lug. And it actually really doesn't wear that big. Um, lug to lug, as you can see, it curves a little bit down. So it fits just across my wrist. If you look at that, it fits just across my wrist, uh, which is pretty nice. Kind of really sinks into the wrist like a turtle. Um, so it appears a bit smaller, but definitely wearable for my wrist, I would say. Nice side profile with the Crafter Blue sign strap there. The buckle fits nicely. I got a nice fit on this. As you can see, the holes on the band are very close together. So you should have no issue sizing this rubber strap for your wrist, uh, no matter what size it is. Um, but yeah, definitely fits very comfortably on the wrist. Plants itself nice and firm. Definitely a watch you really can beat around. It's very tough feeling. Like you can really beat this watch up and I think you'll be fine. It's really quite tough. And yeah, definitely a nice fit. Very, very comfortable. So there you have it guys, this is the new Crafter Blue Hyperion. Um, I think it's a pretty nice watch for the money, you know, I believe it's about 680 US dollars, there are a couple different variations. And the quality is definitely there, I must say that. Obviously if you don't like this style, um, it's not going to be for you. Uh, but if you're, you know, a dive enthusiast, you like a mix of kind of, you know, the best of both worlds or something of that nature, and you want a real tough 600 meter tested dive watch with a helium escape valve, I mean, this thing is really built like a tank, and you can definitely, you know, definitely go diving with it, use it every day for sports and such. It's definitely a beast of a watch, not in terms of beastly size, but it's tough. I mean, it's just solid steel, you just feel it. So definitely a really cool watch from Crafter Blue. Let me know what you guys think of you as usual down in the comment section below, and I will respond to you there. Uh, you can also find some helpful links in the description below as usual. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for tuning in once again. Bye.